Hello there, I am Alex GTE, and today I am bringing you a battle video, but it's not like a battle video like any other that you've ever seen before. It is week one of the EDC. I guess our buddy V-Rage, link at the end of the video. And maybe in the description, probably not, but at the end of the video for sure. So, uh, basically I don't know why... Well, I shouldn't say I don't know why I'm doing an intro now, because you guys are going to see a team builder before this. So, let's get into the team builder. I, that was, I don't have magic powers, I'm sorry guys. Alright, so here we are with the team builder. As you guys can see, the team's already built and I will not be like building in front of you guys. I'm just going to uh, quickly share what I have built instead of uh, building with you guys because I don't want the videos to be too long and it's just more simply this way especially if I team build with someone else I'd rather take up their time recording or whatever so these are the mons that we are bringing for I don't know why this is shiny oh right because never mind um, so basically, the first mom we're bringing is Daxter the Aerodactyl, who is male and shiny with Stealth Rock, Ice Fang, Tailwind, and Stone Edge. Now the reason why I put that move set is because that uh, Aerodactyl is my fastest mon, so having him out as my first mon setting up Stealth Rocks pretty much guarantee guarantees I'm going to get Stealth Rocks up, unless I'm going up against a fucking um, uh, Tapu Koko or something, something that outspeeds. What's that mon? That other mon that outspeeds? I'm not sure. Pheromosa, but Pheromosa is not in this, Pheromosa is banned in the league, but anyways, so yeah, so having it, having Daxter as, Aerodactyl as my Stealth Rox Mon assures that I'm at least going to get rocks up first turn, even if I get one shot that, that, that same turn after, at least I got Stealth Rox up, and that's why it's there, honestly, I was hoping that Aerodactyl would not get one shot, because I also put Tailwind on this in case I knew that my Aerodactyl was going down I would Tailwind up so that everything so that I could then go into the second mon the one under it and you know outspeed literally everything um, the one thing that I was afraid of from my 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 uh, 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 my uh, well you guys are see you guys are gonna see a constant list of his mons on the side um but yeah he had a garchomp which was the th the one that i was scared of the most because i've seen garchomp i've used garchomp i've battled garchomp i know what garchomp can do and garchomp is a threat no matter who has him right so um you know i wanted to make sure that i would outspeed it and also i knew that any mon could use his Z move, and this mon, Dax, uh, Aerodactyl gets Ice Fang. Although, er, although four times effective, Ice Fang from Aerodactyl is not enough to kill a Garchomp. So I gave it ICMG just to I, ICMG. Uh, sorry, ICMZ just to give it that extra push. And um, honestly, doing this team builder video after the battle, I'm happy with how it turned out. You guys are going to see this after. But let's move on to Mon 2. Mon 2 is Drago, the Zygarde, 10%. It's Choice Banded with Orb Break with Extreme Speed, Thousand Arrows, Outrage, and Stone Edge for all types of coverage. The Outrage, which for Garchomp, um, I knew that he, he does have a Togekiss as a Fairy type. But I did not think he would bring it. Um, actually, I was pretty confident he would not bring it. Uh, because I, I, I know V-Rage, um, I kind of know how he thinks, I've already team build with him a few times, so, you know, uh, extreme speed, because, uh, anything except for his Lucario, and I think that's, I don't have his team in front of me, you guys do, but I don't, there must be another one on his team that would not take damage from extreme speed but extreme speed would do massive amount of damage to pretty much all his mons except for lucario thousand arrows because it's stab and it's best fucking ground type move in the game 
and uh, Stone Edge for coverage because if he did bring his his Togi Kiss, then at least I would have had Stone Edge to take it out. Um, it's Jolly Natured, Max Speed, Max Attack, Four and Special Defense. Even though that Four doesn't matter, it's not living a super effective hit. <laughs> it could live a hit, but not super effective hit. Like there's no way, it's, except if I focus dashed it, but that's not a problem. Next up, we have Count the Raikou, Life Orb Pressure, because its hidden ability is not released and it's in, it's in a focus, with Thunder Wave to try and paralyze Mons, Signal Beam, and Shadow Ball for coverage, and Fold Switch. During the battle that you guys are about to see, I question my own self. Uh, I question my own self. I question myself whether I had a Shadow Ball or a Thunderbolt, because um, I honestly forgot while recording the battle, and. Um, you know what? It doesn't really matter because Counts did its job. It's got max, uh, it's jolly, na timid nature with uh, max speed, max special attack. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Next up, we have Wuzzy the Pangoro, who is a salt vested with Iron Fist to get that boost on the punching moves with Crunch, Bullet Punch, Poison Jab, and Sky Uppercut. Because Sky Uppercut, I think, I believe, gets boosted by Iron Fist and is, um, is stabbed. Uh, he has HP 252, attack 252, adamant natured. Um, I was honestly hoping that uh, if I brought it out, if you brought this Togekiss, I'd be able to live a, a move. E either uh, I, I doubt I would have never been living. I, there's no way that Pangoro can live a fairy type move, but maybe you know, flying, but uh. Kind of sad about this about this mon, but you guys will understand why after watching the video, the battle video. Uh, next up, we have Junior, the Incineroar. I call him Junior because it's my mascot, and I can't call him Alex because that's conceited. Uh, he's Choice Scarf because I want him to outspeed things. He's got Darkest Lariat, Earthquake, Flare Bits, and Outrage. Outrage is just there because uh, if his Garchomp was not Choice Scarfed, Choice Scarf and Sooner were worried about Sped, and Outrage would have been there to take it out. Uh, max Attack, Max Speed, Jolly Natured. Uh, what more do you guys want me to say? It's Blaze ability because Intimidate is not out. If Intimidate was out, it, it you know, Incineroar would be amazing. And last but not least, we have Wanabu the Mimikyu, um, who is holding the Rocky Helmet because I figured if I'm going to get that one free hit, why not have it damage them? You know what I mean? Uh, so even if they, even if um, they would have attacked me with a choice, uh, not choice, a focus sash mon, that sash would have broken turn one, while I would have taken no damage and I would have gotten up a sword stance, like it says on my on my move set, shadow claw, which. Normally I run Shadow Sneak, but I figured what the hell. Uh, and Leech Life and Player Off is just generic things that I run. I know Player Off is run on Mimikyu all the time. Leech Life maybe not. But I, I run Leech Life on Mimikyu for uh, recovery. Um, you never know uh, where I could put, be put in a situation where I need to recover HP and that mod is weak to, weak to bug. <laughs> or take neutral damage from bug. And with the Swords Dance, you know, if it's neutral... with. with a swords dance up if it's neutral or super effective it's killing and I, re I recover more HP so you know it's just it's coverage and it's recovery at the same time that's why I love running it like that max attack max speed because that's pretty much how you run Mimikyu and uh, also kind of sad about this mon you guys are gonna find out why but uh, with that we are gonna go straight into the battle right now enjoy Alright, so now that you guys have seen that, let's get on to the battle. Click. Alright. So everything goes well. So we are going to start off this battle with a Pokemon trainer, Raj Patel, aka V Rage. I let off with Daxter, the. <coughs> I was about to say Ariados. I meant Aerodactyl. Uh, and he sends out huge. Yug. Uh, Yug. Yug Wall. <laughs> Probably huge. The Toxapex. Now my thinking here was just set up rocks because that's I, that's why I put stealth rocks on the mon. <laughs> but um, so yeah, I was in the team builder. This Aerodactyl was built to take on 
his guard trump, which was the only mon that I found threatening. But I wanted to send it out first as my lead to set up Stealth Rocks, like I just did. Uh, pointed stones floating in the air. You draw, you scald. He uses scald. I'm like, at this point, I'm like, at this point, it's the first fucking move in the battle. I didn't think it would do that much, honestly, it did 50%. That was surprising to me. I know it's super effective, but I mean, Toxapex isn't the most, uh, you know, strongest mon. So I switched the fuck out, and I send in Count the Raikou. Um, if you guys get the nickname. Uh... But yeah, so, you know, send in my electric type on his water type. It's just, it's just common sense to me. So... so right now, at this point, he uses Scald. Which, of course, I'm going to live, but I'm hoping that I don't get burned, because the burn would really hurt me, because it would take away from my, uh, Raikou. My Raikou? Um, but yeah, so he withdraws. He predicts the Thunderbolt. I don't even know if I have Thunderbolt. Bolt switch? He, predi he predicts the electric type move, which, <laughs> so he goes into this guard jump and takes rocks damage but I called it and I used shadow ball knowing that he would switch into his guard tromp and try to call try and predict me using the electric type move so I use shadow ball it doesn't do a lot of damage it is a good amount for me um I mean not nothing to call home call your parents about you know you're not gonna the damage is not the type of girl that you I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about <laughs> I'm tired leave me alone fuck off Alright, so <laughs> at this point I, I see that he's running um, Leftovers Garchomp, which is not something that people usually run, but it was a huge load off my back because I do that Scarf Garchomp, that Scarf Garchomp would outspeed my entire team, including my Daxter who is base 130 speed and fully invested in speed. Um, so at this point, seeing that he's not focused Sash, well anyways it wouldn't matter with rocks, but that he's not choice scarf or choice band or any kind of choice was like a huge load off my back I I called the earthquake and I switched into Daxter who is immune and here is where I took the advantage in the battle if it can play yeah <laughs> Z move ice type Z move I used sub-zero slammer which was I when I said I built this Aerodactyl, as you guys saw, I put ICMZ on it just for this Garchomp. This Garchomp was the only thing that scared me on this team. And I'm like, no offense to V-Rage, or his drafting skills, or the person that helped him, because he did have help to draft, but the only thing that scared me was this Garchomp, which, as you will see, thanks to this uh, skull ice sculpture that I created, is no longer a problem. It is gone. It is dead. Garchomp has has left the field, has left the forest, is not back into its Pokeball. He sends out huge wall, probably thinking about getting another Scald off and killing me. I know that he has no more ground type Pokemon. He has no more ground type Pokemon, well, at least on his team. I don't I don't remember if he drafted any other ones, but at least on his team he has no more ground type Pokemon. So I am free to switch into Counts and Thunderbolt. Or Volt Switch. I forget which move, okay? I didn't do the team builder before. I didn't re refresh my memory on my movesets before what, before we record in this battle, okay? But, I said that counts. I know I have either Volt Switch or Thunder. I think it's Volt Switch. I'm pretty, 100% sure it's Volt Switch. He goes for the Scald. I predicted the Augie again. And, uh, counts is gonna eat that up. More than last time, actually. And, uh, I, he won't get the burn, which is... A huge relief for me. I go for the Volt Switch. Now I know I'm not going to do a lot of damage. But I'm going to do some damage. That is a lot. You know, had I crit, I would have killed. But it doesn't matter. Because I'm going to outspeed. I'm going to hit him. Uh, no, I'll, I'll switch out. But, like, whatever mon I send in, I'm going to outspeed. I send in my Zydog. Zydoge. Drago the Zydoge. Oh, it's a little bit slow, but you know what? Better than nothing. Um, 
Of course, or break because power construct is banned. But yeah, so he uses Scald, and here I know it's not gonna do shit, but I'm hoping to all hell that he is not going to burn me right now. Because if he burns me, this Zydog is useless. He does not get the burn. I am lucky as fuck. And I'm like, you know what? I'm golden. I'm golden out right now. He switches out huge wall for Mew the Mystic. Or Mystic the Mew. <laughs> Mew the Mystic. Mystic the Mew. Which I go for. He gets rocks damage. I go for 1,000 arrows. Because why not? It can hit flying types. <laughs> and it's stab. And I'm choice banded, so you know, why not? It does about half or half. It brings it to half. He has less to left that deal. Do, 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 do. He has leftovers. So I know that at this point I am not going to I'm not gonna take him out. I need to switch. He's probably either gonna go for the psychic move or the will o wisp or whatever. I need to switch, so I switch out into your boy Incineroar, which is shiny even though I hate the shiny version of it, it's shiny, <coughs> but it's, it walls whatever he wanted to do, he went for Will-O-Wisp, which doesn't affect Incineroar because it's a fire type, I figure right now a Darkest Lariat will kill at this range, I'm pretty sure a, Dark a Darkest Lariat will, would have killed at full HP, because it is Stab and Incineroar does hit super hard physically but like kind of like lagged a little bit but he switch he sends out he switches out Mew sends out his uh, for alligator which uh, is going to get hit with one hell of a darkest laureate gets rocks damage honestly ob obviously not on it I mean it, it is honest to say that he did get hit but it's obvious too I don't know where I'm going with this commentary guys sorry <laughs> but I hit him, I do a fantastic amount of damage with that crit. I'm in a position where I'm choice scarf, so I know 100% I'm going out speed. And that this dark is like, that, 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 the DL is going to kill. Fuck, man. I have to calm down. Because <laughs> I'm like, getting excited seeing this battle again. But, yeah. So, I, I sort of takes out Chompy. So, that's, he's two mons down now, I'm, I believe. Uh, each with Aerodactyl getting a kill and Incineroar getting a kill. He sends back out Huge Wall, which is his, um, it's Regenerator, obviously, because he gained health. But, um, at this point, I don't want to leave my Fire type in, <coughs> even though at that range I was pretty sure that the Darkest Laria would, would kill. I didn't want to take any chances of it living, because it's fucking bulky as hell. And killing my dark, my my darn, my darn Cineroar. <laughs> my darn Cineroar. Um, so yeah, I send out Raikou um, to go for the Volt Switch again. But he uses Recover. So I, at this point, I'm thinking, oh no, he's gonna Recover stall me. I'm, you know, I'm gonna Life Warp kill myself. It's not gonna be good. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. But, um, but yeah, so I used Volt Switch because it's the only move that I could use against it that would actually do any sort of damage. Um, I mean, I would have done damage with the other ones, but it wouldn't have been as effective. Like, I got him to the red here, which is good. And also, I switch out, and this is the most important switch out of the, of the, of the, of the fucking battle. Because I switch out, and just like before, I switch back in to Zydoge. Drago the Zydoge. Um, and why is this, this is the most important switch of the battle is because I am telling you right now, spoiler alert, I do not switch out at all for the rest of this battle. He goes for Scald, I'm hoping I don't get the burn. Which, I am going to eat up that Scald, and I am not going to get because uh, the luck was with me. <laughs> At this point, it's 6-4. He withdraws huge wall. I don't know what he was... He sends out Mystic. Mystic is at a point 
is HP that I know that I'm going to kill. Like, maybe, maybe not this turn, but I know that if I don't kill this turn, I'll kill it next turn. Because <coughs> I will outspeed it. So I go for 1,000 arrows, and I get it to the red. And it didn't kill, but it doesn't matter because I know that I'm going to outspeed. See, the reason why I, sw I switched out before is because I knew that I wouldn't kill, and I knew that I wouldn't not sp I knew that I wouldn't kill, and that he would burn me, or he would do some damage to me and take out my Zydoge. I couldn't stand losing Zy I, not I couldn't risk losing Zydoge, so I switched out. Now he switches out because he apparently th thought I was going to go like I I talked to him about it. He thought I was going to switch out into Incineroar, so he switched out into him. I don't know why, but like. <laughs> I don't know why he, like, I, I understand his, his reasoning, but he freaking old yellered a Lucario. Because that thousand arrows is going to one shot. Doesn't matter, unless you're focus sash, doesn't matter what your build is, that thousand arrows stab is going to take out a Lucario. He old, he brought that Lucario out back with a shotgun and just boom, old yeller. He sends out Bernard. Now, Bernard uh, is, I think, is his fastest mon on his team. Uh, and it's pretty good mon. Actually, it's one that he sniped from me because I wanted this mon. But Thousand Arrows um, is going to kill after Rock's damage. Pretty damn sure that's what happens, of course. Because, you know, um, Galvantula is not the bulkiest mon in the world. <laughs> but after Rock's damage, it killed. I'm pretty sure it would have probably, it might have lived had the Rock's damage not happened. He sends back out huge wall, which uh, you know at this point, at this point I'm on a roll. <laughs> I know that at this range I'll kill with a thousand arrows, and um, that's exactly what happens, I believe. Uh, if it doesn't, let's see. It's going incredibly slow. There we go. It's dead. <laughs> So it's six one at this point. Six months. I say I have six months left. He could at this point mount a incredible comeback. But as I said before, I outspeed, and I can one shot from this range. So that pretty much wraps up this battle. Good game to V Rage. I'm Choice Banded. Thousand arrows. I outspeed. And that's that's it for the battle. So I think so. My first my first victory in the EDC week one. I started off amazingly well with a six zero. Um, I defeated Vraj. Uh, you know nothing. I'm not gonna say Vraj sucks because he doesn't. Why am I calling him Vraj now? I'm not gonna say V Rage sucks. You know, he's not the best battler, but he's not the worst either, like I've, uh, I've seen worse. But, um, you know, in this particular battle, like, he, we've battled a bunch of times, and he's beaten me a bunch of times, and I've beaten him a bunch of times. So this is just one of those times where I've managed to beat him. I managed to read him perfectly every move that he thought. Uh, well, not maybe not every move, but, like... You know. Like, of course, when I thought that he... When I saw him send out his... His um, his Toxapex at the beginning, I immediately thought, okay, he's gonna set up Toxic Spikes. He's gonna go for the what's the move? Uh, Baneful Bunker. But I would not be surprised to find out that that no way it couldn't have been an Assault Vest because he used Recover. I don't know what he was running. I should ask him what he was running. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Like, good things to take away from this battle. Incineroar to got a for alligator. <laughs> um, Zydodge, 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 Zydodge got four kills. Four kills for Zydodge. And I got him at the 12th round. That's like fucking. When you draft a, a, a player, at, when an NHL team drafts a player at the seventh round, they're like, that kid's never gonna play in the NHL. He's gonna, 
if he makes it in, in any professional league, he's gonna go. It's gonna be like the AHL or something, or the ECHL, and he's like a fucking superstar. Two years later, that's what fucking Zaydoge is to me right now. He's that superstar that was picked up at like the last fucking round. Um, Aerodactyl, I set it up specifically to take down Garchomp and set up rocks. It did exactly that. I am super happy with how that turned out. Uh, it's a shame I didn't get to use Pangora or Mimikyu, but um, I know for a fact that he was that because V Rage knows me, so he knows that I love using Z Splash and Mimikyu. So he was kind of waiting for that. Uh, and I kind of, uh, threw a wrench in his, uh, you know, thought pa pattern by not using that. He, f he actually told me after the battle that he thought that my, um, uh, IZ move, what's it called, Sub Zero Slammer was a nice touch, a nice twitch, because he, he didn't see it coming. Um, but yeah, so next week I'm battling, um, my lot of world coach of the Slowbro, the... Slovenia slow bros and let me tell you right now I'm like in the process of team building for that battle and I am scared shitless of that team so I am so you know you guys will see this next week see the battle next week don't be surprised if I lose because I have no idea how to team build for that guy his draft is immaculate um but yeah uh we're just gonna try and do the best we can have the most fun that we can and Hopefully make playoffs right now um, We're first in the league Because of our 6-0 uh, We're followed closely by Schlubs and Inu who both got 5-0's uh, You will find their links in the description because they are part of the EDC as well And you will find links to everybody else's channel And the EDC channel in the description below except for V-Rage whose link will be at the end of the video With that, I hope you guys enjoyed <coughs> While I choke on my own saliva, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao. Six.